that much experience, there's bound to be fireworks. From Milwaukee, it's rock and roll football on ESPN2, better known as The Deuce. Bradley Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where tonight the Las Vegas Stinger are in town to battle the Milwaukee Mustangs. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Fiziant. We begin week four of the Arena Football League season with still teams trying to find out about the personnel. Can a wide receiver also play a cornerback spot? Can a fullback also play a linebacker spot? Can an offensive lineman also go on the defensive line? Well, those difficulties have hit teams that are expansion teams like Las Vegas and Milwaukee really hard. As we take a look at the American Conference, a veteran team like Albany is in first place at 3-0. Las Vegas, Cleveland, Milwaukee, all young teams at 0-3. The Sting and the Mustangs have really been hurting. But for Las Vegas, there is hope, and it is hope in one of the smallest players you'll find anywhere in pro football, in college football, even in high school football. His name is Tyrone Thurman. He is only 5 feet 3 inches tall, but extremely fast. A speedster out of Texas Tech who does a 4 4 and when he catches the football, look at the way he runs. Again, they call him the Smurf. We told you about the reason, 5'3", 150 pounds from Texas Tech. He can really fly. And one of the big reasons he might see some success tonight is because of the guy who is, is his coach, Babe Perilli, a two-time All-American quarterback at Kentucky. He played pro football for uh, in the NFL and also in the AFL. And a good trivia question, look at that, the Jets. He was the backup quarterback for Joe Namath in the 68 World Championship team. And he's with our Doc Walker right now. Babe, mistakes have been your worst enemy the first couple of games. Is this club finally settled down and ready to play some good football? Yes, we moved some people around in different areas. Had a lot of reps on uh, that position that we felt that uh, we're having problems with. And uh, I believe we're ready, Rick. As no quarterback, you got to look your chops and look at a young, inexperienced secondary on the part of, of Milwaukee. You've got Scooter Molander. Can he get it done? Scooter will get it done. We need to block it up front. We're going to try different techniques and blocking. And uh, believe me, if, if we block, we will exploit their secondary. Coming from an old quarterback, I like it. Back upstairs to Fizz. All right, Doc, and the Milwaukee story is a difficult one. They, too, have started 0-3. They had the lowest scoring offense in the AFL, just barely over 20 points per game. But they received some help this week in acquiring three-time All-Star Carl Akins, a fine wide receiver, 32 years old. He is a veteran, an Iron Man of the Year in 1989, 32 years young, and... He will be playing for a veteran in his own right in his coach, Lou Saban. He comes here. He has a great respect for this man, Lou Saban, who has been around. Well, he played for Coach Paul Brown way back in the 1940s. And look at this, a Big Ten shot put champion, a World War II veteran, a Browns linebacker. He has coached at eight universities, two NFL teams, two AFL teams, and he's downstairs with my partner, Doc Walker, right now. Lou, you've never backed away from a challenge. You've got 12 of your 16 offensive players. First year guys, how do you get it done offensively? Listen, that's all I've got. I've got a plan. This is the only way they're going to get their experience. So I'm sure that they'll do the best they can. And the key is to get pressure on Morlander. You've got a young, inexperienced secondary. What's the key? Well, we hope the key can be a big help to us. If he isn't, we're in deep trouble. All right, big fellas. Thank Hold you. For you. That's it, Fizz. I'm out of here. The action's about to get underway. I'm upstairs. You better be running upstairs because it is a long way from the field and the press box. Milwaukee has welcomed the AFL with great enthusiasm. They expect another near sellout crowd tonight at the Bradley Center for the Mustangs and the Sting. Milwaukee won the toss and they have elected to receive. So Milwaukee with an exciting kickoff return man in that guy. Alvin Ashley, fourth in the AFL in kickoff returns at 19 and a half yards. He ran one back for a touchdown 50 yards earlier this year. And kicking off for the Las Vegas Sting, Tracy Bennett. Played his college football at Macy's, Mesa State, and he hammers it well over the net. 
if it is over the net, that means the offense must start from their own five-yard line. If it goes wide, then there'll be a penalty, and it'll be brought out to the 20-yard line. Jeff Lutz is the starting quarterback for Milwaukee, 8 of 21 this year. He was in the Canadian Football League camp in Las Vegas, but they had 14 quarterbacks to look at, and he said, I want to start, and I want to start with the Mustangs. Played his college football at Southwestern State in Minnesota, 6'2", 200, has an excellent arm. His wide receivers are Willie Wood and Bobby Wright, and it is Wright you see in motion. And Lutz is sacked in the end zone, a safety. And the one thing that Coach Lou Saban was talking to us about is Lou has to learn to get rid of the football even though he has to throw it out of bounds. So a 2-0 lead right now by the Las Vegas Sting. And there you see Jeff Lewis going back to throw but coming in so quickly from his linebacker spot was Mike Streitzink. Two nothing, Las Vegas on the game's very first play, and now the Sting will receive that football. Lou Saban, well, he's got his head down right now. His Milwaukee team has been really humbled. He said when the season began for him some four weeks ago, he thought he was going to have a very good club. But then all of a sudden, some of those players signed contracts with the Canadian Football League, with the NFL, and he is waiting for them to perhaps come back. Milwaukee this year 0-3, Las Vegas also 0-3, but the Sting with narrow losses earlier this year to Miami by just three points and a tough 31-30 loss to Massachusetts. Well, they hit it well. And taking it off the net is Tyrone Thurman straight back up the middle. Breaks a tackle. Thurman is nailed at the 10-yard line. their quarterback, Scooter Melander, a 27-year-old player from Phoenix, Arizona. And Scooter played his football at Colorado State. 107 passes this year. He has thrown for six touchdowns, also been intercepted six times. He was all Western Athletic Conference at Colorado State. And his coach, Babe Perilli, said, I like his footwork. I like his passing. He simply has to learn to get rid of the football a little more quickly. We shall see. As after the penalty, Las Vegas will start from their own three-yard line. Thurman in motion. There it is. There it is. And the catch is made by Joe Brookins up near the ten-yard line. Earl Bell, Lindberger, Hernandez, the guys you see in yellow at the bottom of your screen are the offensive specialists. Thurman Molander will only play on the offensive side. Everybody else plays both ways. They are the Ironmen. Charlie Bowen, Carlton Johnson are the defensive specialists. They are the cornerbacks when Las Vegas is on the defensive side of the ball. Brookins now will go wide left. And then he will go in motion. They look immediately to him, and it is incomplete. And Brookins had it in his hand for a first down. Now it'll be third down and three. Well, the Milwaukee defense will look like this. Campbell, Houghton, McKee on that front line. The guys in yellow, Swindell, Lunsford, the defensive specialist, both of them cornerbacks. And cornerbacks so important in the arena game. Ashley, Lutz are the offensive specialists. Ashley, the brilliant wide receiver, very speedy. And Lutz, of course, the quarterback. Now Scooter Molander on third down and three. A 2-0 ball game. Las Vegas has the lead. They pitch out, and they've got the first down. Boy, I like that play as my partner finally makes it back up here, Doc Walker. I tell you, that's a little bit too far. We're going to have to get the elevator next week. <laughs> <laughs> you got your Stairmaster workout in, though. Oh, yeah. There's Tyrone Thurman. I know you saw him last year, and you were very excited to see him again. Yeah, very nifty. Just ideal for this game. He doesn't mess around, explodes, hits the seams well. That was a little nifty play as well to be able to get a quick little toss, take advantage of a short corner. So Scooter Molander has some room to work with and has the football up near the 18-yard line. On first down. The catch made by Brookins and a short gain of three or four yards. Milwaukee has been challenged this year. They have given up a lot of points, and one of the reasons they are so young, particularly at cornerback spot. 
there's nothing wrong with being inexperienced because you've got to play. But they've been bitten by a lot of double moves, which I'm sure we're going to see pretty soon, where you go down and run a curl and go, stop and go, hitch and goes, and they just got to get it done. Wood's a good player, and I think eventually they'll pick up on it. That is what these teams have done in their first three weeks. Las Vegas has Molander going deep for the first down. Daryl Tillman near the three-yard line. A six-foot, 197-pounder from Southern Mississippi, Daryl Tillman with a big play catch, and again exploiting those young wide receivers. And if he wants to get in, that is just pass rush. If you give anybody this time in this league, they're going to knock you dead. Get two receivers open. Receiver that time comes back, races himself, catch the football, and I love this extra effort. So this time Tillman bounces up. He'll be in the slot on the right side, as will Thurman and Brookins. Molander will run the football, and Mike Strudnick is through about the two-yard line. Strudnick was a fine player for the Dallas Texans last year, a backup. He played his college football as a linebacker at Arizona. Again, these guys go both ways. Strudnick will not only play fullback, he'll also play linebacker. Play for a desert swarm, and you know he's tough. Second down and goal from the two. Sting already with a 2 nothing lead. And they give it to Stritnik again. He powers to the goal line. He is stopped right at the goal line, so it will be third and goal. And Stritnik, he's one of the most powerful fullbacks you will find. He bench presses darn near 400 pounds. But they want him to be a little more flexible. Yeah, but you don't need flexibility when you're down here on the goal line. You just lower your shoulder, keep those pads low, and keep driving your feet. Well, they say the knee went down at the one-yard line. He muscled his way to the goal line with the market at the one. Now third and goal from the one. Molander is Fritnick again, and he has the touchdown. So Las Vegas with an outstanding start tonight, something they did not find last week. In their last two, their loss to Orlando, 38 to nine. It's interesting when you keep it on the ground. You know, Babe has been really plagued by a lot of penalties, a lot of mistakes, missed snaps. So you just go back to basics. You knock people off the ball, and more importantly, you establish the trend for the rest of the ball game. Where they establish it right now, when Milwaukee had the football and Jeff Luke went back to throw, and you get a safety in the first play. I mean, all of the wind goes out of your sails. And the point after touchdown is perfect by Tracy Bennett and Las Vegas with a great start in this AFL game. They lead it 9 nothing. Hey, gourmet cooking. Welcome. Put the wrestling back on. Gourmet cooking. Let's watch both. <laughs> Noodles. They are cooking now, Bob. Here's the play. Oh, Great taste and less filling, you can combine anything. Take a walk in there, big What a pen. What a beer. Great taste, less filling. Alternative math. One for sandwich, plus one hash brown, plus one coffee, equals one ninety nine every day. Add it to your morning at Burger King. We may not be the world's number one fast food place. It just tastes that way. Into the net. 
taken beautifully by Ashley, but he is taken down inside the five-yard line. We are seeing two premier kickers do exactly what the arena football rules allow. Into the net, and if you can make the catch, I mean, you're in trouble. It's a, it's a scary feeling, and you use the net really, you know, as another defender. It really puts you in an advantage if you got good coverage team. Milwaukee needs a strong drive right here. Jeff Lutz at quarterback. Wabaroka is the fullback. Andy Chilko in now. And Lutz going deep. His man is open. And it's broken up at the 10-yard line, but a flag is down. He was looking for Alvin Ashley, his speedster from Southwest Minnesota State. They played college football together. Well, they were lucky. If you take another look, if Reggie Sutton, if he'll play this thing a little better, could have had an interception. Nice pump fake. Puts the ball up there. I think the ball is late. Receiver is open. You close the cushion. You'd like to see your corner look back, find the football. If he does it, he gets an INT. And you know, in Jeff Lute's defense, he has only been in camp the last two weeks. Pass interference. The defense, number 29, automatic first down. John Shoffley, our referee tonight, Rusty Spindle, David Small, Ed Rogers, Jimmy Anderson working with him. Still a gutsy call, I like it. And it is a first down for Milwaukee. Bobby Wright in motion. Lutz has Ashley, and Ashley is hammered into the boards near the 20-yard line. Well, we heard C.J. Johnson was a big hitter, and number one really pumped him into the boards. That's a good way to get acquainted. Boy, those dasher boards, I guarantee you the Canucks and Rangers, they have nothing on the boards. These boards are vicious. That would uh, be a check that would give you some uh, minutes in the penalty box. Yeah, it'll knock the feeling out of your teeth. <laughs> Second down, three yards to go. Right again, the man in motion. Lutz has time, but his man fell down, no flag. And Willie Wood wanted the pass interference. You see Jeff Lutz and the Willie Wood we're talking about is the same Willie Wood whose dad was the Hall of Fame defensive back. Boy, Boy tough guy. Steer ne star in nearby Green Bay. Plays some great quarterback, too. Willie was out of USC. And I'm sure Lou Saban coached against Willie Wood. Saban, 50 years in this game. His ball club with a third down and three. Lutz with time. Ashley is open. Ashley cuts down. play back again pretty much like the play they tried a couple plays ago opposite side magnificent throw and catch he spent all week trying to make that happen this we know it's not easy but this is a club that's really needed well how about the pass protection that loose he's had plenty of time surprising how much time he's had point after touchdown by ken stucker is good and milwaukee right back in this game down by two Basketball's outrageous king in this spectacular new video. Sir Charles. It's the amazing adventures of Charles Barkley. And it's free to a paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. Sir Charles. Call now and get an emotional, intimate, and follow pad look into one of sports' most fascinating personalities. Through rare footage, you'll follow the bouncing Barkley from high school to college and the pros as he goes from super kid to superstar. Get the inside story from a guy who doesn't pull any punches. No one player can guard me. Y'all can write that down. He's the one and only Sir Charles. Free from Sports Illustrated. Call now. And you'll also get this collector's NBA Jam Session cap. Free with your paid subscription. Get 54 issues of SI, including the two big football previews, for only $1.47 an issue. Save over 50% off the cover price. Call now and get your Barkley video and Jam Session hat free from SI. There is no one like Charles Barkley. And there is nothing in the world like Sports Illustrated. Get into it. Alvin Ashley's touchdown got the crowd rocking and rolling. 
here at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee as their home team Mustangs are backing it down nine to seven. Steve Fiziak, Doc Walker here at the Bradley Center. And another nice kick that will be taken by Thurman. And Thurman gets out near the 10-yard line and then he is smashed into the board. Oh, and Johnson and Thurman, we're going to have flags everywhere. Too much emotion as maybe a hit that was a little too vicious by the Mustangs' Brian Dahl. Well, if they get called for it, it's stupid. You, know, you just get a score. You're trying to generate some offense. The worst thing you do is go out and hurt your defense. This kid is so exciting. Fearless. I mean, it takes, it takes a lot of guts to stick it in there, know you're going to get hit, and then there's those dasher boys. See, that's unnecessary. Right about there. Yeah, that was Josh Scott, number 42. Brian Dahl was in the area, but it was Scott, the man who knocked him out. And that Court is why the penalty. After the play was over, number six on the white team, the first down from the three. So they will call it instead on Joe Brookins. So Scott, his shove into the boards, that was rather vicious, apparently was not seen. It was the retaliation by teammate Brookins. It always happens. <laughs> Thurman, they're looking his way, and another sack, the ball's on the floor, and it is recovered for a okay. touchdown. But oh, Robert Roca, he was celebrating too soon. You gotta play that ball live. Molander never had a chance. No, he did, but he's coming right nice little gap. Looks like a crossing game here. I'm sure the committee, uh, Gene Nudo, will have to see that one again. Comes in, real flush hit on the quarterback. You can't celebrate. You got to go get the football. And that was Ed Wabaroka, who was a fabulous fullback at Eastern Michigan, who's playing linebacker, and he blitzed. And the point after touchdown is good by Ken Stucker. And Milwaukee, after trailing 9-0 in the first minute and a half of this game we still have 556 to play in the quarter and the mustangs are in front by five Lock and roll to you the new volkswagen golf may not look more aerodynamic than a porsche 928 but then you're not a bug face off against mullins he takes it up the board oh! New Ocean Spray Lemonade with real juice for the taste you'll crave. Oh, a walking riser to the penalty box. Ah, Rocky, drink me. Oh, the penalty box is a popular place to live. New Ocean Spray Lemonade, raspberry, cranberry, and original. There's nobody left to fall. Any car with airbags will help protect you in a head-on collision. The new Volkswagen Golf has airbags, crumple zones, and side impact beams, so it can help protect you from any angle, including this one. We ain't kidding when we say rock and roll football in the AFL. We have seen already 23 points in the game's first nine minutes. And now Milwaukee, who came back from a 9-0 deficit, will kick off, and it will go out of bounds. So that means Las Vegas will start their offense from the 20-yard line. The last thing you want to see is that low-line drive kick. Good point. What did I say to you in pregame when we were on the field and I pointed to 32? Remember what I said? Wabaroka is a man. He's a man. And that's a pretty good illustration. Well, he made the sack, and then Brian Dahl with the recovery in the end zone for the touchdown to give Milwaukee their first lead of the game at 14-9. Offside, against the kicker, decline, kickoff out of bounds, automatically awards the ball to the receiver, the touchback, but from the 20-yard line. And that is exactly why the kickers want to kick it high into the net where there is either a return or over the net where the ball must be five-yard line. Blue Saban still got to be pretty happy, though, with a young ball club that comes out and gets the crowd behind them. Come on, now, let's go, let's go. 
Molander back and looking and completes the pass to Tillman and he's got the first down at the 17 yard line. Darrell Tillman, a two-way player for the Dallas Texans last year, caught 30 passes, 11 of those touchdowns. They have several players from the Texans organization. A lot of people want to play in Las Vegas, and that's a nice spot. And we will be there on the deuce next week for Cleveland and the Sting from the MGM Grand. That's right, they play football in the casino. Molander. Oh, he had Thurman cutting back to the inside, but the pressure came hard from Brian Dahl, so he had to throw it away. And the Stanley Cup playoffs will be coming your way on ESPN, and we've got that fabulous feature with the New York Rangers, Vancouver Canucks. It was the Canucks last night, winning 6-3. Beret was fabulous with a couple of goals. Can Messier stop him? We'll find out tomorrow at 8 o'clock right here on ESPN. Second down, 10 yards to go from the shotgun. First down, or near the first down, Thurman looks to be about a yard shy. Well, he is so difficult to cover. Well, especially on a crossing route. That's the, really the toughest play to defend in this league. And the offensive line gave him time. And maybe we should tell our fans one of the great things about the Arena Football League, there is no double coverage. Those linebackers have a certain box that they must stay in, the width of their defensive linemen. And they cannot go back and cover a speedster like Thurman. It is the cornerback on an island by himself. Third and one. Stridnik. Boy, that was sheer power that got on the first down because it looked like Wabaroka was going to bring him down behind the line of scrimmage. Wabaroka is really off to a good start. He's really controlling the tempo. He said, said it. He shoots right. I didn't use screen, but he doesn't lock up. I mean, he's going up against a guy that has a lot of determination as well. At 245 pounds, 5'11". That's tough. And it is all muscle. He is one of those power lifters that Las Vegas has. And that left side moved too quickly. Lynn Rowland, who was acquired in a trade from Albany this week. Get a new player, trying to learn the snap count. It's been one thing that has plagued both of these squads in this season, early season. And for fans who are watching this game for the Number first time. Ball start. Go first. Lynn Rowland will come to the line of scrimmage, and he may raise his hand saying he's the tight end. There are three offensive linemen, a center, a guard, and either side can come to the line and be the tight end. They must declare themselves prior to the play. On the run, Thurman cuts back, flag is down near the nine-yard line. Could be an encroachment. Once again, if you made a very good point about the box, linebackers have to stay within a certain uh, relationship between the down linemen. We got a first down. We finally don't say anything, and John doesn't open his microphone. He'll come back and in. Say hello to us. Yeah. Give us double take. John Sophie. Illegal, illegal formation. The linebacker, the Mac linebacker, is up too far into the neutral zone. They'll still be first down. And there is Babe Perilli, one of the great quarterbacks in college yeah, football yeah. history at Kentucky. He coached at New England, Denver, Charlotte. Six years in the Arena yeah. Football League. He really loves his game. Tillman. They throw it to Thurman and he scores easily. I like that play. Hey, it's a group. Yeah, that's a group. It's innovative. You can't see on the outside. They got three receivers on one side. He comes off and gets right in the sweet spot. He just kind of choked the motors down. The ball's on time. Touchdown. And because Tillman was taking his defensive back deep, it gave that side to Thurman. Well, that's the whole thing they do. They push you deep with two, and you get one guy that kind of jogs off. And defensively, you can't sense that ball, and you get caught. And it is not like the traditional game where you can float a safety over there and play zone and let the corner cover that oh, area. the linebacker out. That's what you do. You just walk your weak side linebacker out. Las Vegas has reclaimed the lead on Tyrone Thurman's second touchdown this year. 
with former Washington Redskins tight end Rick Walker at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where Las Vegas has a 16-14 lead on the Milwaukee Mustangs. Las Vegas jumped in front 9-0. Milwaukee came back to take a 14-9 lead with two very quick scores. And now it is Tracy Bennett's turn to kick off after his touchdown by teammate Tyrone Thurman. That's a nice kick, and it will go out of the end zone. So five-yard line is where Milwaukee must start their offense. tell our fans that there is a scoreboard that is hanging overhead and both Tracy Bennett and Ken Stucker hit that scoreboard in practice a number of times a number of times three and a half minutes it took and Thurman with the touchdown now it is Jeff Luke's turn to try and rally his Mustangs again he's with his head coach Lou Saban remember his days with the Buffalo Bills and when he was telling us about OJ oh man the electric chair, the company, I mean, the juice, McKenzie, the Lavalier, all those studs. That was a that was a great moment. And that was his second tour of duty with the Bills earlier in the 60s when he won the... Also had Mer Jack Kemp, uh, Ray Carlton, and Keith Lincoln. Good defense. First down, 10 yards to go in motion is Ashley. He was bumped hard off the line of scrimmage, so Luke must scramble. He has a man wide open downfield, and Scott with the catch at the five-yard line, but a flag is down near the line of scrimmage, and when Luke was able to recover, you're always thinking, is there a hole on the play? I think he got an offside. Really? Ashley. Oh, shut my mouth. Please don't do that. <laughs> You know, will this happen because you can run towards the line of scrimmage as is the man in motion? First time I've ever seen it. Number six, still first down. First time I've seen it called, but he was really grossly over the line. You have like your your yo-yos or your, your zooms and loops. This time he did a great job, good footwork, and to still have the presence of mind to look upfield, don't panic, and wait for somebody to get open. So now it's first down and 13 yards to go. Lutz has his man Ashley at the 10-yard line. Alvin came in with 12 catches in three games, and he already has three catches on this evening's contest. Let's listen into that Milwaukee huddle where their quarterback, Jeff Lutz, will be given the direction. Let's go, let's go. I write Zoom 97 circle on one. Ready? Circle. 97 circle. Look for a post corner. Possibly by the inside receiver on this. That zoom is where the wide receiver will go back and then run to the line of scrimmage. Right there. Yeah. Stay with it, Mike. Stay with it, Mike. Lutz again to Scott. Incomplete at the five-yard line. Good no call by the official. And if Scott continues running, he might have the catch. Tough, that would have been tough. Still think that was a good no call. Both guys born for the football. We've got 13 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Time will likely run out before this next play gets off. So we'll be heading to the second quarter with a marvelous showcase, the first 15, with Las Vegas in front 16-14. And they will talk things over at the break. The veterans, Lou Saban and Babe Perilli with their team. They, uh, he's, he's ripping him. Scott simply did not continue his route, and he's hearing about it. Oh, yeah. Alternative math. What do one crust sandwich, one order of hash browns, and one hot coffee add up to? $1.99. At Burger King, just $1.99 every day. We may not be the world's number one fast food place. It just tastes that way. Every year, one credit card gives you something other credit cards don't. Only the Discover card offers you.
gives you a cashback bonus award. Cash. Over $400 million paid so far. And there's no annual fee. So use the Discover card and improve your cash flow. It pays to discover the card that pays you back. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the pulse of May. My girl, my girl, my girl. I'll Just one sip of St. Pauli Girls Rich Imported Taste is the start of a beautiful relationship. Dear Midas, my daughter and I were in Savannah, and the cobblestones were more than a muffler could take. At Midas, your mechanic... Hi, I'm Jack Willis. ...gave us a free inspection, allowed us a first... Look at this. ...to look at what was wrong, and did a better than good job. It was a good feeling to have a guarantee following us back to Indiana. And it was nice to feel we had not been taken. Sincerely, Annie and Nicole Weiland. Basketball is a game of style. It's a game of form and finesse. But believe me, when I'm in your face, it's not pretty. Let's take a look back at the history of the Arena Football League. The very first game was back in 1986 at Rockford. Ricky Mitchell returning a kick for Rockford against the Chicago Politicians. It was a showcase game at Rosemont Horizon, February 87. A touchdown by Eddie Phillips for the Miami Vice. And Carl Aikens, he played in Arena Bowl 88. He was the Iron Man in this league in 89. And he's playing for Milwaukee tonight at the age of 32. Three-year All-Star in this league. And going deep is loose, and he was looking for Ashley, who was wide open and racing down the sideline after beating Reggie Sutton. He had it. He's got to put some air on that one. You know, it's very difficult, especially with the dasher boards. You have no sideline to pinpoint it. So if you put some air on it, you know, give it an arc, then you let the receiver run under it. Which is loose. easy to say when you're sitting up here, sipping on water and watching. <laughs> Yeah, Joe Theismann used to lead you pretty well, didn't he? Joe Theismann was a man, big time. He also had Riggins. It helps when you can hand it off to 20 times. On fourth down, Ken Stucker will be attempting the field goal. And he hits it well. Just a bit short through the hands of Tyrone Thurman and out of bounds. Las Vegas... And Milwaukee with a great start to this football game, 16-14, the Sting. The new Porsche 911 Carrera was crash tested in this secluded building. To Gerhard Royce, who tunes the radical new suspension. To Ivanka Madsen, who stitches a cabriolet top that takes 14 hours to make. And to Stefan Rebrovich, who builds the more powerful engine by hand. This building was the perfect place for these crash tests. Why? Because it meant they didn't have to watch. Fresca has a distinctive citrus taste that makes it different from other soft drinks. No sugar, no caffeine, and almost no calories. Just a taste that's one of a kind. Just 
keep coming out, nickel and dime, and then you take the big one, or you go for the pump. Neither team has really jumped that so far, but then they have had to. Well, Las Vegas has been stopped just the one time, and that was when Wabaroka made the sack, forcing the fumble in the end zone where Brian Dahl scored the touchdown. Thurman in motion on second down. Polander has to throw it away, so it'll be third down and a short three. So there is the quarterback that they really wanted. And Scooter is the offensive coordinator, a coach and player last year with Finland of the European League. What you said, he told me before the game, that was a tough experience because the game is so much slower. Not only overseas, but he could be 11 man. But he loved being overseas. Yeah, he said it was great. He needs three. He's going deep for the home run. It's incomplete. Well, they thought they could beat Willie Wood, but he was well covering Dan Victor. Let's give the Mustangs some credit defensively. They are really bringing it. Good pass rush, good coordination with the linebacker, and then Willie Wood. I mean, so far, Willie's been perfect. And it's been John McKee, it's been Franklin Harris, who have really been rushing well. A 53-yard field goal attempt by Tracy Bennett, and he has the leg to do it. He has one from 56 this year. That was against Miami, and he hits this one, and it will be short. And Ashley takes it, and he'll bring it back. Ashley out near the nine-yard line. We've got a timeout on the field. 11 minutes and 30 seconds to play. With Las Vegas leading 16 to 14. Molander. Why get only half the workout on an ordinary treadmill when you could get a total body workout? Introducing the incredible new WalkFit from Nordic Track. WalkFit's unique design lets you exercise your upper body and lower body at the same time. You get a fast, effective, total body workout that burns up to 1,000 calories per hour. Whether your goal is to lose weight, tone muscles, or relieve stress, you can do it all with the WalkFit Total Body Treadmill from Nordic Track. WalkFit gives you a 53% greater cardiovascular workout than on ordinary treadmills, and you can burn up to 79% more calories. And WalkFit has no motor. It's safe and easy to use. Unlike motorized treadmills, you control the pace. There's no herky-jerky starts and stops. Call our toll-free number now and receive a free information pack video and full-color brochure showing how you can get started on an enjoyable exercise program you'll stick with. Don't settle for half the workout when you can get a superior total body workout with Nordic Track's WalkFit. Call today and get a 30-day in-home trial and two-year limited warranty. After all, it's from Nordic Track. Milwaukee the lead back. They trail by two, 16 14. They're going to try to go deep on this one. They go to Bobby Wright. He's open. Bobby Wright to the 20 and out of bounds. They will mark it back up near the 24 yard line. But you're right, Doc. They were looking deep and then Wright sprung open and Lute said, I'll take what they give me which shows good patience by a quarterback. Every guy who's ever taken a snap wants to hit the big one, but it takes the good ones that can be patient and wait for that underneath coverage to give him a seed that time he hit it. Lou Sabres call him a heck of a football game. They're aggressive. Hey, we ain't playing like we played it during the week. You heard that, we ain't playing like we played it during the week. Ashley now orbiting from left to right. And Lutz. Oh, he had his man wide open, but was tipped to the line of scrimmage. Intended for Willie Wood, who had come back to the football, and he had distance and separation by a good six, seven yards from the cornerback. Sam Hernandez, I think, got a hand on it. But once again, the Mustangs with pretty good offensive protection. These have been the problems they've had. Don't forget, folks, 12 of the 16 players are first-year men. Saban. I'm a special team coach. I think that's Frank uh, Agent. And he played at nearby Wisconsin Stout. And Jeff Lutz back to throw. 
Almost intercepted by Reggie Sutton. Two flags go down, both at different times, one early and one after the quarterback Lutz delivered the football. On the other side, no, he's pushed. especially when you have a moving pocket. This time, as you'll see, quarterback there, Lutz kind of gets outside. Then we kind of see a grab oh, right man. there. Well, They're going to call that. That's a good call. Third down. Come on, move your feet. Let's go, let's go. So it'll be an illegal defense. They took one of the penalties away. The illegal defense, you, you, the most you can rush in this game is four. The defense must have three down line, and the linebacker cannot double cover. That coach had a good call, though. He said, move your feet, Arnold. And that's exactly yeah. what Campbell's got to do. you got to pass block with those feet. All right, Willie. But with that illegal defense, the linebacker must be within five yards of the line of scrimmage. He can never be wider of the scrimmage or inside the shoulder of the guard or the tight end. And you see those linebackers playing right behind the defensive line. Nice Lutz with a nice scramble, but he will be hit and hit hard down at the 24-yard line. Lutz is really showing us some athleticism. This time he tries to bump. I mean, that's just got to be a sixth sense. How did he know that guy was there? He comes out, but the defense collapses real well. The one thing they're doing, Steve, they're holding the football, keeping the football out of the hands of the team. 39-yard field goal attempt. Stucker. And it's good. Ken Stucker from 39 yards out has given Milwaukee a one-point lead, 17-16, here at the Bradley Center. So, my best friend is working like a dog to clean his car. With dish soap? Hey, you washing your dishes or your car? Look what Spot's got for you. Yeah, Spot and Wash. <laughs> Have a little on those embarrassing bug and car spots. Bingo, they're gone. Now wash the whole car with Spot and Wash. Oh, that's clean. Yeah, I wouldn't mind riding in that. New Spot and Wash from Armor All. You'll never use dishwashing soap again. Open the door. Spot, this is funny. Open the door. Howdy, partners. Now, you people think I'd let Bo and Shaq get special. I mean, when was the last time Mr. Shaq faced a 70 mile an hour leather ball? Hey, you try stopping shots in the space this big. See physiot Rick Walker at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where Ken Stucker will be kicking it off. The man you just saw, number 81, Tyrone Thurman. And it will be under the crossbar. So again, an excellent kick by Stucker, which means Las Vegas must start from the five-yard line. Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN. Greg Jeffries is hitting 330 this year. He'll be seeing Lenny Dykstra at the bat in Philadelphia. And Dykstra already has over 50 runs scored this year. He is his job as a leadoff man. It's the Cardinals of Phillies. Listen for John Miller, Joe Morgan. This Sunday at 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 on the West Coast. That's the bat with that great Jeffries. He's bat for about 330. He has been outstanding this year in the improved defense. I mean, Ozzy and Todd Steele, their errors are down. A big reason why is Greg's defense around the bag at first. Molander, it is incomplete and being hammered into the board. Dan Fixer. He is quickly off with the helmet and coming off. Josh Scott with the big hit. 
There's no lack, there's really no lack of manhood on this one. Those dashboard boards are brutal. See, there you get your sternum, you get hit right in your gut. You go on that uh, dashboard board, it is brutal. There's Josh Gutt, latest college football at Northern Michigan. Just 23 years of age, and so many of these athletes are. Last week, we had the Miami Hooters in, in Albany, and they had a lot of 27, 28-year-old guys that had played in this league a good three, four years. And understanding the rules of the game is so very important. That's why you find the teams like Orlando, Albany, Massachusetts in first place, veteran teams in the Arena Football League, Molander to his fullback and a good gain here up past the 15-yard line for John Clark. Clark really saved him on that good hand. The offense still, still appears to be a little bit out of sync. The Jazz can't get that play going again. So you got to credit, you got to credit the Mustang. Yeah, Lou Saban has to be pleased with his defensive line, which has put pressure on Molander tonight. He didn't look pleased, though. <laughs> <laughs> he had his head down the first minute of this game because this club was down 9-0. Thurman on the reverse. Out near midfield with a first down. With Tillman and Clark out front. Real good convoy. You know, I say it over and over. You got to get your outside people to block if you're going to have an effective running game. There is that special teams coach for Lou Saban, Frank Hay. And he's been the man watering the sidelines because they will allow the coach to run up and down the sidelines, but Coach Saban is 72 years old, and he got out of the way a little better than right now, about 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. Got to save it for his golf game. Great shape. On first down. Tillman juggled the football, then holds on and drags the would-be tackler with him. Down inside the 17-yard line. That's their bread and butter. They like to stretch you down, try to get the out. You can see them do this 10 to 15 times a game. We'll be inside six minutes when this next play comes off in the first half with Milwaukee leading Las Vegas 17-16. Darrell Tillman. For the Scottish football at Southern Mississippi, he will come wide left and they'll have three group receivers there. And they'll throw it to Tillman. Double pass. And a pass downfield to Wilcoat. And he has the first down, but a flag is down. So one thing we know, Tillman never played quarterback in high school. That's a fact. <laughs> he may have been a shot put. Yeah, that's what he though. looked like. It looked like that was a shot put. It will go against Milwaukee. The play got them the first down, so. Legal formation. Linebacker on the defense is in, into the second neutral zone, breaking the breaking the up up lineman's back. Again, first step penalty is declined. First down. Again, the linebacker must be within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Here it is again. Still that relationship. You got to keep that cushion. Well, that's an ugly throw. <laughs> but it's complete. It's complete. This yes, because you're throwing better than that. Seriously. No. I know you're an old baseball guy. Couldn't throw in baseball either. Here's Molehander back, throwing, touchdown, Thurman! We got a good one in Milwaukee. Now, this is in-your-face football. You got to give Molehander some credit. Gets back, pocket opens up real well, throws a nice ball. The ball is actually tipped. And that's very difficult. Receivers work on it over and over with the tip drill. That time, Tyrone Thurman made it pay off. So Tracy Bennett comes on as you see the congratulations going to Tyrone Thurman. And Bennett will attempt to point after touchdown. He has made six of nine this year, and it is a high snap. And Bennett will recover it at his 12-yard line. He's got a headache for that one. Oh, his ankle's gone. This is a serious sign because the kicker is down, holding his left knee. Las Vegas does not have another player who can kick. You go up, you try to punch this knee, you go, you try to coach, there's no way to do it. Now you're running, you know everybody's coming after you. You gotta make a quick decision as you watch him right there. Oh, the leg is cut under. 
Yeah. When dogs get really thirsty, they drink water. When humans get really thirsty, they drink squirt. Give you thirst to squirt. Alternative math. One for sandwich, plus one hash brown, plus one coffee, equals one ninety nine every day. Add it to your morning at Burger King. We may not be the world's number one fast food place. It just tastes that way. Tracy Bennett still down in the field now being helped up. He was holding his left knee. Las Vegas with a 22-17 lead. It's every kicker's nightmare, but yet it happens. You have fire drills. You go over this in practice, but it's nothing like the real thing. That's a live grenade, and you watch the left leg is hooked under. And you take what comes in and puts all that pressure on it. It folds under on the turf. I'd be surprised if that was not at and least a four to six week deal. They are taking Tracy Bennett straight to the locker room. Oh, well, you never know. We may see him come back. So here comes Frank Dolce, backup quarterback. It's his job to kick off now. You see the five play 43 yard drive and Thurman with his second touchdown of the day. He came in with only one touchdown and his coach, Bay Perilli, predicted, hey, Tyrone the Smurf is going to break loose tonight, and he has so far. Four receptions, 36 yards, 68 total yards by Thurman, so he, he's doing it all. Well, let's get a look at Frank. Here he is, quarterback at the University of Utah. Hey, that's not bad. He got it to the end zone, but watch Ashley. This is big because you've got a kicker, Tracy Bennett, who can hit it into the net, who can hit it over the net, who will make your offense start from the five-yard line. Now your field position is going to be 15, 20. Wow. You know, in this game, it, it really complicates things. Only 20 players to a roster. Got to put it on your offense now. You just lean on them and say, hey, guys, somebody's got to suck it up. And we got to put some points on the board. Wide receivers are Scott, Ashley, and Carl Aiken. It's his first appearance in this game. Number four, three-time all AFL player. And they're looking deep to Aiken. Instead, they just throw it away over the middle because Aiken was well covered by Carlton Johnson. Tried Aikens to go right out with the out and up. This is the key. This is what you hope for in this league. To get an open field, have some time, you got to complete that. You got to be able to drop that down to secondary receiver and at least move the chain. You know, Luce had no protection last week. And you might remember last week they had no centers. They were playing with guards because of their injuries to the center position. They brought in Dave Wattoon, and he has played well in this first half. Brookins has it past the 20. Scott has done a good job offensive line of giving him a little bit of protection. This time you see a little pressure forcing the roll right. He throws off that foot. I just got to give defense a good move on that. That's just an excellent way to break on the ball, go in and take it. Football like you're seeing tonight. You'll just love rock and roller hockey. The Tampa Bay Triton host the Montreal Roadrunners. Prime time pro hockey Monday on the Deuce at 7 Eastern, 4 on the West Coast. Please, can you skate? No. You asked me earlier if I could throw. I said no. I'm just <laughs> one of those guys who can sit up here <laughs> and visit with you about the game. 22 17, Sting with the lead. Molander. Very big pressure on him. They try and reverse a guy inside Daryl Tillman from the out and the pass too low. That was a great idea. It really was. They catch that ball. That's that down. There is Babe Perilli, who is on the field. You know, he played for Lou Saban in their days with the New England Patriots. Well, you got to beat your coach. Back you always want to beat the Patriots. Who hasn't that man coached for? His nickname is 2.5. Because that's the amount of years he has averaged with any one job. Lou Saban. 
mean, we're talking Peru State, we're talking Buffalo Bills, we're talking... He's not scared of the He's not scared of a challenge, that's for sure. And he said this is one of the supreme challenges that he has had. It is the Sting by five over the Mustangs with 226 left in the first half. Evolution of sports news. <laughs> Uh, and now we turn to hunting and gathering. Equus Ludi. The battle between good and evil continue last night. In bear baiting today. In fox hunting. At the rodeo last night. Today is baseball scores. In the World Football League. Sports Night. What's next in sports news? Live Sunday through Thursday at 5 on ESPN2. <laughs> Fiziak, Doc Walker on the deuce in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where Las Vegas has a 22-17 lead over the Milwaukee Mustangs as both these teams in the Arena Football League looking for their first wins of the year. Albany has a lead with a record of 3-0. Massachusetts at 2-0, then Arizona 2-1. And then you've got Cleveland, Las Vegas, Milwaukee, all looking for their first wins in the American Conference. Scooter Molander has the Sting on the move again. They lead by five. He's looking for Brookins, has him. Brookins up near a first down. He's got it inside the six-yard line. That'll be interesting where they mark him because he was all the way to the six. His legs were still moving. Yeah, but if you're coaching this kid, you tell him to keep that going. Keep that leg drive, and hopefully you get some offensive people to come down and take some chip shots. He was a terrific player at East Texas State University. Played last year for the Dallas Texans, most of the time as a defensive back. It is a first down from the seven-yard line. Brookins will go left. Tillman is the slot man, and Molander on the keeper to the five. Watch a couple with uh, with Miami and the Hooters had a big quarterback. They tried to get him to run. I think it's a good play in this offense. If you recall, they had some success in the first quarter running the football. And I think they're going to keep it going. We have the one minute warning on the field, so Scooter Molander are trying to use up the clock. Instead, he goes underneath the Tillman, and it's low again. 
So will they bring on Frank Dolce? No, guess who's back? Tracy Bennett. Go to your fourth down. Go to your fourth down. Fourth down. Go. If he recovers, that guy must, legs must be like Gumby. Because we saw his knee get stiff the whole way back. <laughs> well, kickers aren't like linebackers. Well, he, he showed me Linebackers that. bounce right back up. <laughs> they just say, give me some alcohol, rub on it sit on it and go back out there. Tracy, his legs, that's how he makes his money. He wanted to make sure they were okay. As far as I'm concerned, this point, oh, he's Gumby. 21-yard field goal attempt is up, and he misses it right. And it is recovered in the end zone by Adrian Lunsford. And did Lunsford try and bring it out? He definitely did. What's he, what's he doing? Just one of those bad decisions? Trying to be Superman. Next week, we'll see Las Vegas sing again as they will host Cleveland. Both teams coming into this weekend's play with a record of 0-3, but the Sting playing at the MGM Grand. We're excited to see that. Are we going to have to handcuff you to your room next week? Absolutely. <laughs> we'll be broadcasting the game and saying, hit me. <laughs> that is 10.30 Eastern time here on the Deuce. So from the two-yard line. Under, so now all of a sudden, both quarterbacks, Scooter Molander and Jeff Lutz, underthrowing their targets. 36.7 seconds, and Lutz, like Molander, hot and cold. He started three for four for 43 yards and a touchdown. Since then, he's been one for eight and one interception. There's pressure. That time, Sam Hernandez had some good pressure coming off the corner. Both defenses have really been impressive in terms of getting pressure on the quarterback. Again, at the halftime, we'll be going live to both teams' locker rooms. Second down 10 for Milwaukee. Man open, catch made, flag down, though. Carl Aikens, their most recent acquisition from Orlando's Predators with the reception. Offsides against the defense. You see now teams kind of prime themselves for second half, getting Aikens involved in the, in the football game. Look for the pump move to be featured in the second half. You know, this is such a wide open, explosive game. We have 32.4 seconds remaining. The clock only stops in the final minute of the half. Offside, defense. The penalty is accepted. It'll be second and seven. A three-yard penalty, so they'll put it up near the five, right at the five-yard line. Lutz again with 32.4 seconds left to work with. Here will have Willie Wood as his wide receiver, along with Alvin Ashley, the speedster, the offensive specialist. From our last possession, when Saban came right out and went deep, I think now is the time you want to stick one in. Akins is in the game as well, and he is a flyer. He will go in motion. Lutz with time. Under throws his man again, but it did hit the hands of Carl Akins. Incomplete. So third down. Two receivers in the same area, though. That had to be a, a mix-up. Once again, Akins is his first game You know, here with Milwaukee. You never want two guys that close to each other, because then you can get one guy to, to cover both of them.
where all the thoughts coming from on that one. It knocked away and it completed the 15, but juggling it was Aikens. He could not hold on. Incomplete and fourth down with 3.4 seconds left. We apologize for our technical difficulties that we had. We lost our signal between here, Milwaukee, and our home base in Bristol, Connecticut. There's Babe Perilli. Boy, we had a chance to watch him before the game. Here's a man in his 60s throw the football. Of all the quarterbacks we've seen tonight, he still throws no. the best. Oh, no doubt. He a nice touch in a nice tight spiral. Well, they're going for the field goal, and it is a long one. And it'll be returned by Thurman, the final play of the half. Thurman may use the entire field, and he is dragged down to the 17-yard line. Beautiful tackle by Mike Wilpoke. Kicker on that. That was Stucker came up. Had a real good, real good tackle. What are kickers doing making tackles like that? We'll come back and go live to the locker rooms after this. Rock and roll football on the deuce. The Las Vegas Sting with a 22-17 lead on the Milwaukee Mustangs. I get Steve Fiziak at halftime with the Doc Walker. And Rick wanted to ask you about the first half. Two teams coming in 0-3, but a lot of emotion as Lou Saban Bay really wants this win badly. It really was. Lou really had so many young ball players playing for the first time. These guys came out still some composure. Defensively got a pass run, gave the quarterback some time. Quite frankly, I'm surprised, but presently. Las Vegas, they're inside their locker room with their head coach, Babe Perilli. And we told you we'd be going live to that locker room. Let's go inside right now. The right from our coach is really confused. And let's get some more push up up front. Okay, now Sam, that's good. We're taking that in, take that outside step and then yeah. go inside, all right? Now come, you can come back with it, all right? Uh -huh. Now look, the Sam, don't worry about a Sam call right now, okay? Because they're going to have to throw it up top. Okay, keep with the Sam door. Now really work on that door, check me, get into your shoulder, up the outside, the wide side, shoulder. All right? Because you fullbacks, linebackers are coming right through there. But okay? Just like in practice. Just like in practice, it started out a little tough. Okay? Now we gotta, we we gotta, gotta stack. Defensively, we gotta beat them up front, guys. We're not beating them up front. We got, oh, yeah, five seconds once. I know we... There's, there's two guys in there rushing. So let's get to them. Come on. That was the Las Vegas locker room. Now let's go to the home team, the Milwaukee Mustangs, and their coach, Lou Saban. He is talking with his team and his coaching staff.
know, Milwaukee really taking a break, but Las Vegas and Babe really saying, hey, we've got to do it down front. They got great pressure on Luce early in the first quarter, and then all of a sudden, Luce had, had a little bit of time later. The toughest thing about this league is that if you're a defensive player by nature, you have to get on the offensive side and demonstrate pass blocks and skills, which are very, very difficult. So what they want to try to do is make the outside rushers keep outside, keep the yard, give the quarterback a pocket so he can step up and complete the basket. And because this is an Ironman game, and you warned me about this my first year in the league, the offensive and defensive linemen go both ways. They get worn down, so your second-line players have to be really good, and that's why you'll find the Albanys, the Orlandos in this league in first place right now. So it takes a tough time. It's really a tribute to Lou Saban and company because they have a lot of new players, 16 players in total, but yet they've had some continuity, and they've really played pretty good as a football team for the first half. We have seen a well-played first half. 22-17, Las Vegas has the lead, gunning for their first one of the year. We'll come back with the arena scene right after this. The new Volkswagen Golf features a track-correcting rear axle and an improved turning radius of just 32 and a half feet, all of which makes the tight-handling Golf the perfect car for the city. Touchdown. 
and really both these teams getting better as the week has progressed. They wanted to get better, particularly with the defensive side of the ball. Tough part when you have a young football team to maintain that. You're at home, you're Milwaukee. Now you got to hope the adrenaline keeps you going so you come out and play strong in the second half. All right, we'll come back with the second half. Las Vegas with a five-point lead on Milwaukee. There are enough things between you and the finish line. Money doesn't have to be one of them. Now you can join Valley Health Club for just five dollars to start. Because whatever your finish line, if you can get here, you can get there. Join Valley Health Club for just five dollars to start. Call 1-800-9-GET-FIT. Spartan School of Aeronautics is ready to help you launch an exciting career as an AMP technician, quality control expert, avionics technician, pilot, or communications technician. According to FAPA, between now and the year 2010, there are going to be over 100,000 job opportunities, and Spartan can give you what it takes to be part of this exciting, rewarding industry. So pick up the phone, call Spartan now, and let your career take off. For information on aviation career training, call 1-800-544-1000. 1-800-544-1000. Hi, my name's Ongi. Meet my good friend, the Cone. Through the Cones, I've met Steve, Thrill, and my best buddy, Danger. Good friends are hard to find. We are ready for the start of the third quarter here at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Las Vegas with a 22-17 lead on the Milwaukee Mustangs. We had an explosive first quarter, slowed down a little bit in the second quarter, passing yardage, rushing yardage, everything clearly in Las Vegas' is corner, but they were hurt a little bit on a couple of breakdowns. Well, that's been the problem. You look at the rushing yards, which is really dominant in this league, 25 to 1, passing, you expected Las Vegas to come out, and really, if you look at the statistics, Milwaukee doesn't look good, but we know good and well that for Milwaukee, this first half was exceptional. They had a chance to go ahead, if they can just play smart football, come down right now and have no gimmies, no cheap touchdowns, they're going to be in the field. And the one key play that allowed them to stay in the football game was the sack by Ed Wabaroka, quarterback Scooter Molander. He fumbled in the end zone. Ryan Dahl recovered for the touchdown. So now Milwaukee must kick off. And hitting it well is Ken Stucker taking off the Nets by Thurman and he's the, he will be dropped in the end zone so it'll be a touchback you'll be able to take it at the five yard line now but his coach Dave Perilli was telling us nobody takes it off the Nets better than my man Tyrone Thurman yeah that's what he said but I, when you you're trying to, when you're trying to concentrate and you know these guys are coming at you it takes quite a man Thurman probably is one of the better ones in the league but he just can't be consistent at it nobody can Dave Pirelli will send his quarterback Scooter Molander out, who has completed 11 of 19 for two touchdowns, both to number 81, Thurman. And he looks that way again, and Thurman with the catch, a gain up past the 10-yard line. There is Tyrone Thurman, who had a very good first half, and we've got a chance to go inside that Scooter Molander huddle. Three-step drop on this one. They're going to try to hit one of the maybe guy in the slot on the inside break. They only need four for the first down. Wide open is Tillman, and he has a big first down inside the 15-yard line. Let's correct that and say it's a post. It's going to hit him on downfield. That was a good read pass route, and that time he showed some experience on it. You have an option, especially when you're trying to get a short, when you come back, then he takes a look, it's not there, throws across to the receiver, perfect pass, good separation, once again by Tillman, and you move the chains. So Tillman will go wide left with Tyrone Thurman on first down from the 11-yard line of Milwaukee. Mustang's got to rush up to get a pass rush going. Tillman already with 72 yards in this game. They're looking for Tillman. He's got a touchdown. Well, 
Boy, it's going to be hard to find anybody to execute better than that. I mean, that was perfect. And you have so many almost pick plays where they try and run the cornerbacks into each other. Take another look. Willie Wood is out. He actually has pretty good coverage here. Inside receiver goes on the bluff, and he takes a seam route. Wood was all over it. The ball had to be perfect. It was touchdown. And Daryl Tillman, somebody had to step up for injuries. They've suffered a wide receiver up this, this year. And Tillman, who only came in with four catches on the night, already has five. And his third touchdown of the year. Well, it is up and good by a guy we thought was out for the night, Tracy Bennett. Las Vegas taking the opening kickoff of the third quarter and going the distance, 45 yards on this final score to Darrell Tillman. They saw it against Mullins. He takes it up the boards. Oh, penalty against Johnson. New Ocean Spray Lemonade with real juice for the taste you'll crave. New Ocean Spray Lemonade, Raspberry, Cranberry, and Original. There's nobody left to fall. Alternative Mac. What do one croissant sandwich, one order of hash browns, and one hot coffee add up to? $1.99. At Burger King, just $1.99 every day. We may not be the world's number one fast food place. It just tastes that way. Whenever you want to take control of a TV or VCR, look no further than your wrist. It's a game. The Casio Remote Control Watch. The perfect gift. Tracy Bennett back in healthy. Grand Junction, Colorado, his hometown, and he hits it well. And a healthy right leg. Off the iron. This is when it really gets interesting. Scott handling it well is out past the 10-yard line. Josh Scott past midfield. You know, we talk a lot about the bars. We talk a lot about the nets. Great example. That takes good hands. He gets it on a second bounce. They argue over it. No, you take it. I'll take it. No, you take it. And there's a kid who's who just shows some good quickness and sticks it right in there and puts his team right down in a pretty good position to make something happen offensively. Boy, they needed a break. And they got it right away. Now from the 20-yard line, Lutz at quarterback. He has Ashley with him at wide receiver. He got pass in the quarterback. Oh, that's right, Jamie Pass. It was Lutz throughout the first half. Now Jamie Pass is in the game. Number 17, 23 years old from Mankato State. Guy, yeah, that's interesting. He's a great Division II player. Now, Pass is coming off a full hamstring, so I'm really surprised to see him come out. Got to see if we can get an injury update on Jeff Moose. So, Pass will send Ashley wide right. Josh Scott is to the left, and there's Jamie Pass. He wrote, rewrote all of the passing records at Mankato State. Brilliant passer there. And he throws low, and it'll be a trap. Incomplete third down now. We can take a look over at uh, Jeff Lutz. He doesn't appear to be injured. Might have just been uh, just a coach change. Well, you know, Jamie Pass last year was second in the Harlan Hill Trophy. That goes to the Division II Heisman Trophy. Then he went off to Italy and played football. Jeff Lutz, numbers first half. He started well completing three of four, but you can tell what he did after that. And that was when he was intercepted. Pass to pass. Scott with the completion at the 10-yard line just does get the first down. Well, Scott, he, he's just one of those guys that comes out at you, doesn't look real fancy, just solid. Pass to pass, if you miss, that's a good line. Pass shows a pretty good throwing motion. Puts the ball exactly where it had to be. And that's good presence of mind to kind of stick out and see if you get the first and, down. And they gave him a real tough mark. He had the football at the 10-yard line. You can see how much is needed for a first down. And on fourth down, the first time out. Lou Saban will take time out to talk about this. We've got a timeout on the four with 10 minutes and 24 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Las Vegas with a 29-17 lead. Hey, MC 
MCI customers. 20% is the discount you expect from MCI Friends and Family Basic, but the average savings on your bill is only 6%. We call that MCI math. When you look at your bill, the person you call has to be an MCI customer and in your circle, or you don't get 20%. Now, some true math from AT&T. 20% is what we promised, and 20% is what you get off your bill. That's AT&T True USA Savings. Spend $25 a month on AT&T Long Distance and save 20% on your AT&T calls to everyone in the USA anytime, guaranteed. Fact is, two out of three friends and family basic or prime time customers will save more with AT&T. Call 1-800-PICK-ATT. Switching's free, and you'll save 20% with AT&T True USA Savings. Call now. Las Vegas leads by 12, but Milwaukee has a fourth and a half yard. They hand it off. They've got the first down. Oh, Busting for the first down beautifully was the biggest man on the field, Franklin Harris. They moved him to fullback at 6'3", 240, their biggest fullback, and he really smashed forward for the necessary well, you yard. You have to second-guess yourself all week. If you got a kid that's that big and agile, and you don't go to him, he takes a great stick, but Brooks gets right in his face. He takes that and goes forward. I kind of thought he'd run behind big number 99. Maybe that's what Las Vegas was thinking as well. Go, go. Harris get back is normally a lineman. That last uh, completion before that play, he had nine consecutive incompletions. That's maybe one reason pass is in a quarterback. Now first and goal from the seven. Aikens in motion, pass throwing. Oh, broken up nicely by Reggie Sutton, and he read that beautifully. Well, you don't get that many chances. Those are ones those cornerbacks they wait for, they dream about them, and when you get your hands on the ball, if you can catch it, well, you turn yourself into an all-star instantly. Reggie, four years with the Rams and Saints in the National Football League. He did not play the last two years, and then Las Vegas went out and hunted him down and said, Reggie, we need you, and they really feel they're very, very strong at cornerback with oh, no, he's Sutton good. and Johnson. There's one good thing about it that Coach Buffington told me he's the best corner he's had in seven years. He said the same thing about Johnson as well. And a flag thrown. They uh, wore out the 25-second clock. We have receivers going to the wrong spot. And now, you know, Lou is just going nuts. The game on the offense, still second down. But to be honest with you, with the number of new players that you see saving now, trying to read the right act to him. I'd hate to have to go to Lou on the sidelines if I blew a block, dropped the pass. I mean, this guy, field general. But in all honesty, with all the youth on the field, they've done real well. He has been very patient with them. And the play clock again down, down to four, to four seconds. seconds. They don't have much time. Too long, and they've done it again. I see there's no excuse for this. Quarterback's got to have a feel for it. Got to have a feel for it. So it'll be second down and goal from the 13 and a half yard line. I mean, they know what the play is. Jamie has to just speed things on, up. Or stalling on a rock and roll rule book. That's a three-yard penalty, so back-to-back, -to -back, total six. Akins goes in motion. Pass down, so they're going backwards. They lose another three, four yards. It'll be third down. Invariably, that's what happens. It happens in football. You get momentum going, you pick up a, you know, you go to fourth and one, you get it, then you come back and you can't get out of the huddle. You push yourself back six yards, then you get a sack. Third and goal from the 17-yard line. Oh, is it a third and seven? Three-yard penalty, three-yard penalty in the four yards. Don't yard. forget about the big return. You don't want to negate that. Yeah. 7.30 remaining third quarter, plenty of time. Aikens goes right to left. Pass again, scrambling, throwing, incomplete. He, he has had kind of nervous feet out there. Yeah, he's a little jittery. He really is. He had the one completion. 
so Ken Stucker comes out. And he will be attempting the field goal. They'll be marked at the 24 yard line. That'll make it 32 yards out, an eight yard end zone. And another penalty. But the Milwaukee three just three going backwards. It will not be delay of game because you were still about eight seconds left on the clock. Whenever you change a quarterback, no matter when, you're going to have some problems just because a quarterback sounds different and you're trying to get things worked out. But if you're going to bring a new quarterback in, the first series of the second half is the time to do it. You can always go back to losing, but you want to get this guy some game snaps. So now the field goes from 35 yards out. Stucker hits it, and it's off and over the net. It'll be a first down for Las Vegas at their own five-yard line. We've got a timeout on the field. Six minutes, 49 seconds to play in the third period. The Sting, stinging Milwaukee. without my hair. I'm size Burling, Hair Club's first client. And since 1958, I've helped thousands of men with thinning hair. If you have thinning hair, this booklet is something you should have. It covers transplants, weaving, fusion, minoxidil, and proper hair care. So call our toll-free number now to get your free booklet. You saw the difference it made for me. And look what it did for our clients. So call our toll-free number now to get your free booklet. Here we go. Let's go, two swift, swing loop outside, 53 rip on three, on three, ready, go. You like the encouragement in the huddle, now they sense a, a little breakdown, now you go for the juggler. And that's exactly what Scooter Molander was telling his huddle, there, right, there. but there's the ball on the floor, and it's recovered by Milwaukee. A bad exchange from center to Molander. The Mustangs have another chance. And they're going back to quarterback Jamie Pass, who struggled on his last drive, but Lou Saban's going to give him another shot now from the four-yard line. Well, no excuses on this one. No matter what the play, you've got to get the quarterback exchange. That way it kind of looked like Molander kind of stepped away. If you come out of there, you don't have a real good feel for it. You've got to get your hands on the football is the second turbo by Las Vegas. The last one went for a touchdown. Let's see what happens here as they hand off to Wabaroka. The last time they fumbled a football or had a turnover, it was Scooter Molander who was sacked by Ed Wabaroka who just carried the ball. And Brian Dahl recovered the loose ball in the end zone and that gave Milwaukee their first lead of the night. Now Jamie Pass trying to close down that 12-point advantage by Las Vegas. Yeah, you got to stick this in. Scott goes to the right, Ashley to the left, Chad Paulson in the game. And pass, will dive in, he scores! A nice bootleg by Jamie Pass. What a gutsy call. He went down. John Dixon went down, huh? John Dixon went down. You take your quarterback on a naked boot, and one thing about pass, he's showing us he's got great mobility. There it is there. The corner has his back turn. Receiver does a good job of going outside, making it happen. And you get a score. Good execution because if the receiver is lazy on the outside, lets the defender look in, you have no play. Point well, after touchdown by Ken Stucker is perfect. And Milwaukee are right back in it. It's 29-24. Stay with us. We've got a good one right here at the Bradley Center. And there's the play action keeper. Lou Saban, great call, really was. Everybody's thinking left, lines blocking left, he's going right. World Cup is coming ESPN play. We'll bring you 41 games. It begins June 17th. 
we will also have Spain and South Korea on the opening night of the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. 7.25 Eastern, 4.25 on the West Coast. The World Cup really exciting. On Sunday, Cameroon and Sweden. That's from the Rose Bowl in Los Angeles, California. I know the United States will be playing on the 18th, which is the second day as well, and we will probably be seeing some of that. Here is Thurman. Tyrone found a seam. He's out past the 12-yard line. Steve, I have to ask you, how about your soccer game? Soccer, I wasn't bad. I played there 10 we, years there in Kansas we go. City. All right. I was getting worried. <laughs> Matter of fact, I even made all league center halfback one year. Now we got it going. I'm Steve Fiziak, along with the doc, Rick Walker, who made it a little bit farther than I did to the NFL. He's got a world championship ring. I, I simply have one ring. That's my wedding ring. That's about as valuable as Couldn't yours. I think a little bit more. More. Probably more. Probably. He got the probably. Incomplete. Intended for Will Pope. Your wife listening in on the deuce tonight is going to be talking to you tomorrow, pal. Oh, yeah. Well, what's new? Probably. Well, a Super Bowl ring? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Vegas here had a lot of pressure in the first half. See, Bowman at that time, he gets his left shoulder hit, which is going to really force you to short off the pass. It's amazing, boy. These, these kids start getting excited, get some enthusiasm behind them. Mustang going to roll. Second down, 10 yards to go. Molander downfield. Thurman a little bit too far for him. Boy, he had his man beaten, Swindell. You know, one thing the quarterback Molander is doing, Babe really told us last night in our coach discussion, he wants Molander to keep that ball up high near his ear. Yeah, he did it, but again, he needs to put a little touch on that little arc so he can let the receiver run under it. Whenever you cross the field and you run a deep post, you got nothing but astroturf. Let a spin sprinter, rather, get out and catch it. The Babe saying this is a speed game, and the uh, defensive linemen are in on you so quickly. You have to have that great quick release, and he believes Scooter has it. Plenty of time downfield. Tyrone's there. First down, Las Vegas. Now that was the pass. These quarterbacks are so watching tough, Steve. The throw a ball, cross field, that time he got the ball up, throws a rope. You know, Thurman once again gets down and scoops up on the football. It's important as a receiver that you go down and meet the football with your hands. You know, all these quarterbacks you're seeing tonight, all stars in their collegiate league, Molander at Colorado State. And the pass completed the five yard line and running down and hitting the board is Dan Victor. Blue Saban with his head down as his defense cannot slow down the very talented Las Vegas Sting offense. I mean, this is a ball club that Babe really has. They might be 0-3, but again, a three-point loss to Miami. They're 2-1 this year. And a one-point loss to Massachusetts, oh, they, who is unbeaten. Had an injury, but they don't have an injury to a kicker. They possibly win that game. Second down. Oh, what a defensive play by Bob Aroka. Ed Wabaroka, a fullback in college. He is playing super linebacker. He made the big sack that caused the fumble for the touchdown earlier and has a key play here. He's one of those guys that not only looks well in his uniform, but plays well. You know, he has a real good knack for the ball. Anytime he pursues, he would certainly like to pick the guy up and body slam him backwards, but he still got it down. One minute, 37 seconds remaining in the third period. A five-point lead for Las Vegas. Molander with time, intercepted, Swindell! Oh, Swindell to the five! Down. This is one of the magnificent plays. Swindell, he will always hold it. 
They have him on the holding, but this is one highlight film. He'll pass this down for three or four generations to come. I mean, just super instinct, makes good catch, then he gets a slashing move, and from this point on, it's all one-on-one. -on -one. But as we saw back in early on in the replay, I think he was caught, just caught for kind of grabbing on. But you can't take away the highlight. is out of his box. The linebacker must be within five yards of the line of scrimmage and can never be wider of the scrimmage of the inside shoulder of a guard or tight end and Lou Saban's defense got caught for it. And Second, man, an interception a week ago and we're called. I mean, it's tough. Some of the things that make this game so unique are the rules you got to play by. Instead of first and goal for Milwaukee and a chance to lead, it's first and goal for Las Vegas. They'll run at Molander, and he's down at the one. He may have fumbled. That is Andy Chilcote, the Mustangs linebacker. I'm still impressed at what Saban's been able to do with these youngsters to keep them poised. The young club could have just collapsed there with adversity, but they come back and have a real good defensive stand. And that has to go right back to the coach. I mean, Pirelli, Saban, two guys with great experience, have done a super job. We'll get one more playoff. Molander to John Clark, and the linebacker's there again. And this might be loud, huh? They say it's down. They say the ball was down at the two-yard line. Coming up with a loose football with Steve Houghton, and he was off and downfield, but he was down. Don't you just get the feeling, Steve? Sooner or later, something good is going to happen for the Mustangs. You know what? They're playing like they are ticked off. And they've set their jaw, and they are angry. And the Mustangs' defense has been excellent against the Sting through three. There's a place near you where the mountain climbers never touch the ground. Where the bodies are made of iron and the bikes of titanium alloy. It's Performance Bicycle Shop with over 6,000 square feet of high-tech cycling gear. But if you go, bring a stump jumping spirit and your visa card. Because at Performance, they take cycling to the extreme, but they don't take American Express. Visa is everywhere you want to be. Alternative math. One for sandwich, plus one hash brown, plus one coffee equals $1.99 every day. Add it to your morning at Burger King. We may not be the world's number one fast food place. It just tastes that way. Dear Midas, back in the 70s, I purchased the Midas muffler for my 51 Ford wagon given to me by my father. When the muffler finally wore out, your mechanic, Miguel Serna, said, Well, the warranty's still good. To my amazement, I was given a brand new muffler at no cost. I plan on keeping my family heirloom for many years. See you folks next time. Sincerely, James Van Dolphson. You just spray it on. You just spray it on. Introducing new Quicksilver Wheel Cleaner from Armorall. Just spray it on. Wait one minute. And everything from dirt to brake dust just sprays right off. That's it? That's it. New Quicksilver Wheel Cleaner. My girl. My girl. Just one sip of St. Pauli Girl's rich, imported taste is the start of a beautiful relationship. a look back at arena football history the showcase game at the rosemont horizon february 87 the touchdown by eddie phillips for the miami vice but the chicago bruisers they would come back a touchdown pass larry Arico to brett wilson that was back in 87 and here we are 94 las vegas with a five-point lead they have the football at the two and a half yard line. Third down and goal. Milwaukee's proud on their feet. Molander 
Trednick. I don't think so. I think he stepped out of bounds. He hit the boards right at the goal line, but they're marking it at the one yard line. Now decision time. You've got a yard for the touchdown, but a field goal gives you an eight point lead. Yeah, but if you hit that bar, let's take another look. Going around the right side, automatically, you know, you don't get the block by Earl Bell, which really cost your team. When you run offside, you got to have that guard or tight end get you some movement off the ball. So Babe Perilli will say, we're going for it. It is fourth down. Goal from the one-yard line. That's just something tricky. Stridnik, no! That's a great series. Maybe the babe needed a naked boot of his own. This is just straight determination. You see all the white shirts on the ground, and you see the purple shirts kicking some you-know-what. And that was a great, great defensive stand by Milwaukee. It was first and goal from the two-yard line. They get an interception. They bring it all the way back to the five-yard line. Then it's brought back. First and goal again from the one-yard line. Four cracks at it. Nothing. And Milwaukee's got it. Pass. Gets the ball to Scott, and he's up near first down. Look at Orlando. They're trying to make the record 4-0, blasting Miami tonight. 46-7 in the fourth quarter. Can't wait to see them. Charlotte losing to Fort Worth 27-7 after Charlotte just blasted Milwaukee last week. And Massachusetts tomorrow will take on Arizona. That's, That's going to be a good game. one. Yep. Tampa Bay and Cleveland will get together. We will have Cleveland at Las Vegas next week on the Deuce. Check your local listing. Aikens in motion. Pass with time. First down. We're seeing a lot of this Josh Scott here in the second half. Well, Scott so far has been the he has been the man. Most valuable player so far in the second half. Had a nice return. Has come up big defensively. Has blocked well. Now you're starting to see Jamie pass now settle down. Doesn't have the jumpy feet. I mean, that's a real good throw and catch. Yeah, he was a quarterback his first two years in college and then switched to defensive back. So now he's got to go both TB and wide receiver. Playing well, he'll go wide to the left side with Akins and Ashley on the same side. They've got Ashley open. One a yard line. Milwaukee's on the move. Down by five with 12.31 remaining here in the game. Just got to look at that offensive line again, giving him great time. Campbell has really settled in. 6'3", 280 pound on Alcorn State, number 77, really anchors that line. And John McKee, McKee, a rookie as well. Campbell in his fourth year. And this team has so many rookies, it's incredible. And then you get Alvin Ashley, he too, a rookie, four receptions, 50 yards, and a score. It is second down, three yards to go. Scott has it for the first down. Well, he had Aikens on that one. He had Aikens running right up the gut, wide open. But he really didn't have much time to see him because the pressure came from the defensive line. But I bet you they come back to that one. That's when you want to come back. Let's see. You can hear at Las Vegas side, and their group saying, you got to put some pressure on him, B. They're saving again with that Darth Vader look. <laughs> Go with the force, Luke. First down, 10 yards to go from the 14-yard line. Aikens in motion. Pass, scrambling away from pressure. And being punished along the far board. Oh, that's good defensive pursuit. Defenders coming in, taking the right path, you know, so he couldn't cut back. We talk a lot about offense today, folks, but take a look at the Las Vegas defense. You know, there's so much to go into team defense, staying in your lanes and angles. This time, as you watch, you get a defender come up, kind of force pressure. These guys on the outside, everybody's in a disciplined pattern coming in, so you take away the cutback. That was well done. And it was a very short game. One yard, second down and nine. 10.35 remaining in the game. Five-point lead for Las Vegas. Pass, looking. Pass, scrambling. 
Pass is down at the line of scrimmage. It looked like he had Aikens breaking wide open in the end zone, but he couldn't find him. Aikens was kind of coasting on that. He ran that pass route as if he was a decoy. And that's the one thing you want to guard against as a receiver. You want to run every route as if you are live. And that way you can get people open. And who knows? The guy who was designed for the play to develop who may be covered, and he's coming back to you. Never know. That's the thing about it. Especially when you have a quarterback that's mobile. It's like pass is showing us he can get outside the pocket. We saw that last week with Eddie Brown, who scored five touchdowns for Albany. Flag down. Pass in trouble. Intercepted. Mike Wilpote bringing it back with a flag down, and it looks like it's going against the offense. Las Vegas with a critical interception here. Illegal. Illegal procedure. Tight end did not report. Penalty is declined. Oh. Las Vegas wall. First down. The man coming to the line of scrimmage must raise his Five hand. Out. One of the guards on the outside of the center must declare himself, and that is the penalty. Any car with airbags will help protect you in a head-on collision. The new Volkswagen Golf has airbags, crumple zones, and side impact beams, so it can help protect you from any angle, including this one. track-correcting rear axle and an improved turning radius of just 32 and a half feet, all of which makes the tight-handling Golf the perfect car for the city. Steve Fiziok, Doc Walker at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Las Vegas with a five-point lead, nine and a half minutes remaining in the ball game. the Sting with the football, and it'll be Mo Lander staying in at quarterback. He'll be going from the shotgun. His wide receivers are Tillman, Thurman, and Brookings. It's intercepted by Milwaukee. Lunsford. So back and forth we go, and the Mustangs have a chance again. These young kids will die. They just won't quit. Nine minutes and ten seconds. Remaining in this ball game, Milwaukee with another chance to reclaim the lead when we come back. You know me? You may not recognize me without my hair. I'm Size Burling, Hair Club's first client. And since 1968, I've helped thousands of men with thinning hair. If you have thinning hair, this booklet is something you should have. It covers transplants, weaving, fusion, minoxidil, and proper hair care. So call our toll-free number now to get your free booklet. You saw the difference it made for me. And look what it did for our clients. So call our toll-free number now to get your free booklet. Computers are key to solving our waste disposal problems. Cleaning up the environment is everyone's responsibility. I'm doing my part here at Waste Management. Jared Judkins, system specialist and DeVry graduate. At DeVry, I learned the business of technology and how to apply it. Right here. For me, it's more than being successful. I'm proud of what I do. Call anytime, 1-800-247-7800. DeVry, we're serious about success. Las Vegas with a five-point lead, 9-10 to go, but another big defensive play by Milwaukee. The low snap, and Molander has to set himself. Well, it forces you to speed up your operation. You know, you start off in a panic, and you just make a bad throw. Boy, Luffer comes in. That's why I say there's a premium on DBs that can catch. They're priceless. Well, Adrian with his first pick of the year. Pass. Threw it low again. He had Ashley wide open, and now we've got a fight. Ashley and Reggie Sutton. 
plays did. That's a bad. That's just stupid. Personal foul. Number 29 on the defense. Automatic first down. Yes, he's not just too good a football player. He doesn't need to do that. He's one of the most talented guys in this league. Just keep playing. You don't want to hurt your team. And that hurt the team because it's an automatic first down. And it's a first and goal now from the nine-yard line. So Jamie passed. The superstar of Mankato State back in his quarterback. He's shown a little bit of nervous feet, but he has very quick feet. Chad Paulson is in the game number 15. And, oh, the pass right on the money, and Ashley can't hold on. This is a classic situation where, you know, you look at Las Vegas, the miscue, two fumbles and an interception. That's one thing I guarantee you that the babe will be all over his boys next week about it. This quarterback situation now, with pass, you just got to settle down and settle everybody else around him down. Paulson again in motion. And pass in trouble again. Here our lead official, John Sofie, saying, leave him alone. He's out of bounds. you got to unload the football. In this league, you never want to get caught running around with the ball. Toss it up in the fans, give the fans a souvenir, and, and you know, cue it back up again. Once again, Steve, this is like helter-skelter offense. They have no continuity whatsoever. And they got a chance to win this football game. Lou Saban staying with his young 23-year-old quarterback, Jamie Pass. After the loss in the play, it'll be third down and goal from the 13. He throws it to his fullback, Clark, it's incomplete. And pass was really banged hard as he was trying to deliver the football. But they, they really have shown no real continuity, no real comfort in their offense with James Hansen's quarterback. It'll be interesting. I don't know if they have more than two or three completions since he's been in. The clock continues to wind down at 6 minutes and 53 seconds. 28-yard field goal by Ken Stucker. It is on the way, and it is off the iron. It's anybody's ball. Picked up by Milwaukee. If I'm Las Vegas, I almost hope he makes it. five-yard distance. Rick Buffington might be complaining about the five-yard distance. Yeah, you got to give him, you you give him, five, him yards. five yards. It was uh, really an unimpeded attempt to catch the football. So yeah, you got to give, give him, him room. It either has to touch That's why I was hurt. Or a man. Yeah. If I'm Vegas, I prefer the field goal. That way you know you just give up three points. So Milwaukee with another chance. And they're going to run it and juggling it and finally holding on no, to it. No, he lost it. No, he, he lost, lost the ball. So Franklin Harris with the fumble and the thing. Really, really punishing. Rock and roll football. <laughs> well, the Mustangs can't complain about the chances they have been given. But that was the thing to do, Fizz, run the football because they couldn't throw it. than your wrist. It's game. The Casio Remote Control Watch. The perfect gift. Alternative math. What do one croissant sandwich 
one order of hash browns and one hot coffee add up to? $1.99. At Burger King, just $1.99 every day. We may not be the world's number one fast food place. It just tastes that way. Three times Milwaukee has had an opportunity to score and take the lead. Three times they have really shot themselves in the foot. This time on the fumble by Franklin Harris. You know, first of all, Harris is not... He's a guy who's played on the offensive line and moves back in your backfield. He doesn't get a clean toss. Pass doesn't have a good toss. And so the play is, is really rough from his inception. So six turnovers in this game. And Molander going back, looking for Thurman. Has him. And Tyrone is up near a first down. Must get to the 15-yard line. So it'll be about three yards shy. Here's the smallest man in the arena football league. Tyrone Thurman, 5'3", 150. He played his college football at Texas Tech one of the best players in America as far as returning kickoff. He was an All-American in that area. This is how you settle things down. You go with the motion. You get a receiver who's elusive. You create space for him. And he goes just a running catch and you turn it up and pick up some positive yardage. They really predicted that he would break the couple this week. He had two touchdowns in the first half. Well, they throw it to Clark. He's got the first down up past midfield and out of bounds. At the 24-yard line. Clark better save his energy. <laughs> Still got a lot of football left. Yeah, I thought it was Flipper Anderson making that touchdown uh, catch and going all the way to the locker great. room. The Meadowlands. Once again, you got to give Melander some credit. He sticks in under pressure, gets the ball out. This is a pretty good run. But trust me, he knows he's out. Still a little highlight time on that. So they get out of trouble. They have it just across the 24-yard line, and Molander has his sting on the move. He's trying to put this game away, and they could do it with a touchdown right here. Get there, Joe, get there. Brookins, oh, he tried to pull in with one hand, and then he was hit by Scott. He was late on that one. We will be in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the beautiful MGM Grand next week. Doc and I to watch the Cleveland Thunderbolts and the Las Vegas Sting. We've had two great coaches tonight in Bay Perilli and Lou Saban. Week we'll have Earl Bruce coming to town with Cleveland. Then it's Massachusetts at Charlotte. We're going to see the Rage again. Tampa Bay at Orlando. Ooh, 7 1 7 8. We've got Cleveland at Charlotte right here on the Deuce. Tampa Bay, Orlando. Well, that's a classic. Are you doing that one? Tampa Bay. Here's Molander flagged down. Might be holding. Got a face mask and a holding and a sloppy play. If that is the case, face mask, you know, holding, the holding would go against the offense. We would be offsetting. Yeah. Got an offside. Yep. There's that's one. tough, too, and he holds on, which you never want to do. You got to have presence of mind on that. That's a good football player going after him there. third time in the game where I predicted what's going to happen. It's the third time I've been wrong. Here's check. You get a double on this. See, look in the middle of your screen. You get a face mask. Well, Wabaroka, who's an outstanding football player, come on, has been active. Sometimes you get tired. You grab it. You just can't let go. So this, is going to be a tough, go, 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 go. this is going to be a tough defeat for the three to coach. Because really, these kids have played their guts out. They're still in it, but they must stop. Las Vegas here, who has a first down at the Milwaukee 24-yard line. Molander under pressure, throws incomplete, intended for Thurman. They had four coming, and coming hard was Milwaukee's big number 77, Arnold Campbell, a 6'3", 280-pounder from Charleston, South Carolina. I think Arnold's doing, going both ways like most players do in this league. Show us a pretty good stamina. You start looking for those 300 pounders to start kind of getting tired towards the end of the game, but that's a tribute to his conditioning because he's hung in. Molander now facing second down and 10. Tillman with the catch. So still need another four on third down for the first down. Well, that was all hands. That was a big time catch. You know, sometimes an inside receiver 
you know you're going to get smacked. But you still have to concentrate, get those paws on the ball, and just hope for the best. And he had two defensive backs coming at him hard. Bolander's thrown for 215 yards and the three touchdowns. It was he's really picked it up, though. Third quarter, he's picked it up. It was 22 to 7 at the half. We've got a timeout on the field. Two and a half minutes remaining in this Arena Football League game. Dave Perilli will talk things over with his quarterback, Scooter Molander. 29 24, Sting. Hundreds of miles to the north and 30 degrees south of zero lies Canada. Blasted by wind, buried by snow, and filled with ice. Molson Ice. Ice brewed by North America's oldest brewery to be a few degrees colder, a few degrees bolder, yet smooth as ice. Molson Ice. From the land where ice was born. Two and a half minutes remaining in this ball game. Las Vegas with the football and the five-point lead. And coming your way on ESPN, Major League Baseball on Sunday. We've got the Phillies hosting the St. Louis Cardinals, Greg Jeffries, Len Dykstra. The stars you'll see 8 o'clock Eastern time, 5 on the West Coast. ESPN Sunday Night Baseball. Here it's 29-25, Las Vegas, third down and four. Thurman with the catch, no first down. A critical stop in this game by the Milwaukee defense. Boy, Harrison Lungford, they were all over this one. You know, sometimes you just get lucky defensively. You get the right call versus the right offensive play, and they double cover it, which in this league, as we mentioned, is rare. They took a gamble, and it worked. That means somebody's open. That Carl Aikens. Coming up, uh, you know, his first game has some limited action offensively. Big field goal. This could give him an eight-point lead. Tracy Bennett. He hits it well. It's good. Boy, Bennett was five of thirteen before that kick. That is a monster, monster kick under pressure. Now the best that Milwaukee can do. Is tie this game with a touchdown and an extra point. They still have a minute 41 to go. It is 32 to 24. A 33 yard field goal by Tracy Bennett. And once again, those are not end zones like the traditional end zones you'll see. They're nine feet wide. And Lou Saban, he's staring in the face of his fourth straight defeat to open this year. Those are the Milwaukee Phillies, your leaders for the Milwaukee Mustangs. You, know, you make a pretty good point, but in this game, the uniqueness of it is that you can score so quick that anything can happen. Nine feet uprights in those end zones. Orlando hammering Miami tonight in the fourth quarter, and Fort Worth is beating up Charlotte in the fourth period as well. 33 to 16. Fort Worth with a good defensive effort holding down quarterback Tony Kimbrough. The Charlotte Rain, Fort Worth, one and two coming in. Boy, he hits it beautifully. High into the net, taken by Ashley. Out to the 10-yard line. He missed sending that over the net by only about two, three yards. And Jamie Pass will remain the quarterback. Scored a touchdown on his own, but only because his defense had given him the opportunity to. He has yet to march his team down the field and get a score, but in this game, you can get a score in a hurry. And well, he can be a hero now. To go. Yeah, he can be a hero now. Clock will continue to run until they get to one minute, and then it stops, like the traditional game. Pass downfield, overthrown, intended for Alvin Ashley. Once again, it's going to be one of those films when he comes back and takes a look at it. He's going to hate himself because he had two receivers open. It's tough to be under pressure, clock going against you, and to settle in there and just 
go with the mechanics. One minute warning. One minute Las warning. Vegas has two timeouts left. And Lou Saban looking at his One offensive play. Jamie Pass must execute, but Jamie has had players open time and again. And this time a little too tall for Alvin Ashley. Aikens going right left. Pass in trouble, fumbles the football. And Las Vegas has recovered. Well, that should just about put it away. A big John Dixon recovers the football. Jamie Pass never really had a good grip on it as the pressure came strong. Now, he tried to, to motion as if he was trying to pass the football, but he held on too long. 54.3 seconds remaining, and Las Vegas looking for their first one of the year with an eight-point lead on Milwaukee. To determine the full effect of motocross, the figure NX is added to horsepower as such, multiplied by RPM, scored by miles per hour, and divided by speed, the commonly used representation of the stadium crowd. Of course, those who know sports know there's a simpler but no less accurate expression of motocross, a force best represented as ESPN. Two. Steve Fiziak, Rick Walker back in the Bradley Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Rock and roll football on ESPN2 and Lou Saban's Mustangs are down by eight points. You must remember, even though Las Vegas has the football on the Milwaukee five-yard line, they must make positive yardage. You cannot go to a knee like in the traditional game and run the clock out. You must make positive yardage. Or they will stop the clock, throw a penalty against you. Or they'll just stop the clock. No penalty. Three receivers going to the right side for Scooter Molander. And he'll keep it on the keeper, and he is to the three-yard line. Talk 2 will be coming your way next. Of course, Jim Rohn will be talking with one of the stars from around the sports world. Talk 2 on ESPN2, immediately following this Arena Football League game. Doc Walker has gone down to the sideline to visit with the stars of the game. And the World Cup is coming your way on ESPN. 41 games we'll have for you begin June 17th next week. No commercial interruptions. Spain and South Korea at 7.25 Eastern Time on Friday from the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. And on ESPN2 on Sunday, Cameroon and Sweden. Same time, 7.25 Eastern, 4.25 on the West Coast from the Rose Bowl in Los Angeles, California. Quite a showcase. Everywhere you go, you're seeing that World Cup in the airports, driving down the streets and the billboards. You can watch it on ESPN2. One timeout for each team. 45.5 seconds remaining for Las Vegas, who owns an eight-point lead and has the football. Molander will keep it. Fumbles the football, recovered by Dixon in the end zone. Are they saying? It was a legal procedure. One of the officials gave the illegal procedure call. In the last minute, in the last minute of the game, the player who fumbles the ball is the only player who can advance it. Therefore, the ball is returned to the spot of the fumble. Third down. So it'll be third down from the one-yard line. John Sophie. Uh, has not only been the lead official tonight, he has also been one of our ESPN color commentators this evening. Every time there is a arena football rule, he will explain it. And there's the fumble. And even though Dixon picks it up in the end zone, looking for his first touchdown in his arena football league history, he will give it up third down one, and they give it to their fullback, Skritnig, and he forces his way forward but does not get it. Clock will stop with 14.7 seconds remaining, and Milwaukee takes time out. So now it is fourth down. You can go for the field goal, or you can say, we'll chew up some clock. We may not get it in. The ball will be at the one-yard line as Spick makes the stop there. It's forward progress. And 
That's the kicker, Tracy Bennett. They're going to go for the three and put this game out of reach if they can. This is like an extra point, and Bennett has been perfect tonight. But he has missed three this year. Nope, they take it Bennett off the field, and Molander is going to go for it. Fourth and goal at the one-yard line. The pitch to Stripnik. He is stopped and out of bounds at the two-yard line. It looked like he had a crease to the end zone, but then turned back upfield instead of turning on the Jets. So Milwaukee has 10.7 seconds left to try and come back and tie this game. Well, he has some speed to work with. Jamie Pass remains the quarterback. Aiken, number four, one of the premier receivers in this league's history, is in the game. They'll also bring in Josh Gutt. And Alvin Ashley will be on the field as well, number six. And he will go to the left side. Scott and Aiken to the right. And they will loop their man Ashley as well a flag is down passes out of the end zone a safety will be called but a flag is down right at the two yard line the pass several times in this game has simply held onto the ball too long a penalty will go against Las Vegas time and it's 6.3 seconds remaining in this football game 32 24 the sting leading the mustangs by eight they must score the touchdown and get a two-point conversion to tie this game and if they do that we will have overtime ashley in motion he is going deep cornerbacks everybody deep pass with the hail mary and it is into the crowd and that is the final play of this game. And somebody gets to keep a Wilson football as Alvin Ashley trying to go into the stand to win the game. But Lou Saban, his difficult time in Milwaukee continues. One of the great coaches of all time. His record with the expansion Milwaukee Mustangs falls to 0-4. Las Vegas with a sting to Milwaukee, 32 to 24. Babe Perilli accepting congratulations from the Milwaukee Open. Get up and throw down a 360 degree jam. That's outstanding, and we can admire them for those efforts. It doesn't make them larger than life. It doesn't even make them a good human being. If I'm gonna get on the soapbox for one second, I'll say this. Be real careful who you pick as a role model. Pick somebody who stands for something. Pick your parents. Pick a neighbor, pick a clergyman. These athletes don't want the responsibility. If they take it, it's a bonus. If you find somebody like a Wayne Gretzky or a Kirby Puckett that can give back, hey, that's outstanding. But I would not invest myself emotionally in an athlete that's going to lead me down a crash and burn alley. You've got to be real careful about that. All right, let's get an update. Checking out KBC TV speed again. They continue to trail OJ Simpson. Nothing has really changed in the last half an hour, except a few more police cars have been added. He's in a white Bronco with his friend Al Cowling. There is a gun on board. He's just trying to get to his mother at this point. All right, that is going to do it for a very busy Friday night. Thank you very much for joining us. I want to thank our guests. We had legal analyst Mark Shaw live from Indianapolis. We had ESPN correspondent Mark Swartz. In fact, join ESPN 1, 11 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Pacific time, a very special one-hour edition of Sports Center. They will have all the details and all the latest information on the O.J. Simpson case. Good to be with you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday. We interrupt this program for an ESPN2 special report. All right, welcome back. I am Jim Rohn. This is Talk 2 on a Friday night. We're going to stay with it. Breaking story. We're covering the story for you. Talking about O.J. Simpson. You saw the latest pictures. 
in that white Bronco traveling with police cars behind him. There it is again, live. It all started earlier today. Police authorities formally charged O.J. Simpson with two counts of homicide. They were under the impression that he was going to surrender. However, he was able to escape, and then we heard this. The Los Angeles Police Department right now is actively searching for Mr. Simpson. The Los Angeles Police Department is also very unhappy with the activities surrounding his failure to surrender. David Gascon of the LAPD, obviously the police were very unhappy and somewhat embarrassed that he was able to get away. At that point, they said that he was a missing fugitive and they began a search for O.J. Simpson. We're going to continue talking about this story. We would like to hear from you. It's toll free, 1-800-98-TALK-2. Right now, as we continue to speak, O.J. Simpson is traveling. He's trying to get to his mother. He is north on Highway 405. That's a live shot in Southern California. Remember earlier, there was the letter. It was difficult to interpret whether or not that was a letter of explanation or perhaps a farewell letter. There was some speculation that perhaps he had committed suicide because nobody could find him. That obviously is not the case. He is in the car with his longtime friend, Al Cowling, former professional football player, and they are traveling. He's trying to get to his mother right now. All right, I want to thank everybody for joining us on this special Friday night. Special coverage, that is. Very busy. Thanks a lot for joining us. Have a great weekend. I'm Jim Rome. This is Talk 2. Right now, we are sending you to our correspondents in Bristol. Good night. O.J. Simpson fled, uh, fled with Al Cowling. Uh, the gun is also a curiosity because I'm reminded that when I was on the air earlier this afternoon and uh, I was listening to Robert Shapiro's uh, news conference, he said specifically that they had searched the home for weapons. Now, the murder weapon, hey, which that. has been listed in the uh, uh, charge against O.J. Simpson, uh, has been identified as a knife, not a specific knife, but the wounds were inflicted by a knife. Now, uh, according to Robert Shapiro in his news conference today here on Channel 7, he said that he, along with the other people that were in that house, searched the house looking for weapons. They didn't find any weapons. Now, we find O.J. Simpson in the back of a Ford Bronco with a gun to his head. Where he got that gun, uh, we don't know, but uh, we were told by his attorney that because O.J. Yeah. was exhibiting suicidal tendencies, that uh, they had made every effort to make sure that there would be no weapons uh, like available to him. Looks like a shot of LAX right there. Just saw a plane. Looks like he approached at LAX. Yes, we can hear you, Rick. Report that they've transitioned to the 105. That is that new Glenn Anderson freeway that uh, goes to the airport. It also will go back eastbound, back into Orange County over towards the 605 freeway. I've not been able to clearly 